Hi friends, in the last session we have discussed that data types concept. So first of all we discussed that fundamental data types and next eight are collection related data types and last one is a special data type that is none data type. We discussed all these concepts, right? So first observe one more time total 14 data types, right? So 14 data types okay fundamental data types means first five are fundamental data types int flow to complex bool string coming to collection related data types means it bytes byte array list tuple set frozen set dict and there is one more special data type is there called none okay just i will explain collection related data types in detail in future just as of now for the data types i am starting just i have given awareness okay so today our focus is our focus is we have to know fundamental data types versus immutability okay fundamental data types versus immutability means suppose uh, okay let me go for python shell i am going to python shell assume i am taking first a equals to 10 okay I am taking a equals to 10. Now, now I am asking first to what is type of a. Okay. Tell me what is type of a. Int. Okay. In the same way, I am asking id of a. Okay. Id of a means it's going to give one reference id. 0, 1, 2, 6, 4. Right. Now I am creating one more object b equals to 10. Okay. I am creating one more object to be equal to 10. Okay. Observe carefully. I am saying with respect to fundamental data types immutability concept. Okay. I am taking now be equal to 10. Now I am asking same thing. What is type of A? What is type of B? Okay. Now type of B also int. Now tell me what is the ID of B. Okay. Now tell me what is ID of B means 0, 1, 2, 6, 4. Okay, 0, 1, 2, 6, 4. Here we have to understand one concept. If you observe a equals to 10 and b equals to 10, 0, 1, 2, 6, 4 and 0, 1, 2, 6, 4. In Python, whenever an object is required, whenever an object is required, it is not going to create the object directly. Suppose assume that this is one PVM area. Okay. Uh, uh, just uh, consider this is called one PVM area. Let me highlight. Okay, assume that this is one PVM area. PVM. Okay. Let me highlight the color. Okay. Now, if you observe here, assume that this is one PVM area. Whenever an object is required, first Python is no, PVM is not going to create the object directly. First, it is going to check whether a a type of 10 is already available in this in this PVM area or not okay already in this PVM area a equals to 10 is available or not so first time it is not available so when it is not available for the first time it is going to create the object of 10 okay it's going to create the object of 10 okay 10 when object is created now now a is pointing to this object okay now a is pointing to this object okay whenever an object is required in python pvm is not going to create the object directly first it is going to check in this in this pvm area whether already available with this content is there or not if it is there it is going to reuse if it is not there it is going to create in this way and 
it is going to re, uh, assign that variable to this object and whenever this object is created one more reference id also will be created so here we are observing right one reference id is creating so that reference id is here itself is creating okay that reference id is creating here actually suppose assume that 100 reference id okay reference id is 100 just assume don't consider value just 100 is the id now focus on next one b equal to 10 okay now b equals to 10 so now also it is going to apply the same concept one more time b equals to 10 means first python is going to check whether already available 10 is there in the pvm area or not okay is already 10 object is there in the pvm area or not okay it is there okay when 10 is already available it is not going to create new object it is going to reuse the existing object okay that time also we are going to get the id address same okay now we are in this case also we are going to get the id of 100 same so now a object is pointing to 10 and b is also pointing to the same okay that's why here here we are getting the same id 0 1 2 6 4 and 0 1 2 6 4 in the same case suppose in the next case what i am doing means c equal to 20 okay c equal to 20 i am taking whenever c equal to 20 i am taking first one more time it is going to apply the same rule in this pvm area okay in this pvm area in this pvm area already 20 object is there or not okay anyway you are seeing only 10 object 20 object is not there so when 20 object is not there that time it is going to create the new object okay that time it is going to create the new object with the value of 20 okay now with the value of 20 now focus is c is pointing to this object okay c is pointing to this object okay now we if you ask the id of c okay if you ask the id of c id of c it's going to give one reference id which is different from a and b if you observe c 01584 0 1 2 6 4 0 1 2 6 4 okay in both cases it is the different id because the object content is different clear suppose if you observe here in the next case d equal to 10 i am taking one more time so when d equals to 10 means now it is going to check one more time whether already available with the same content is there in this pvm area or not okay so anyway for d equal 10 10 object is already available and a and b are pointing to the same object so in this case d also pointing to this object and that time reference id also will be the 100 okay just here i am taking 100 for example but here the generation of id is this one okay now if you ask the id of d also it will be the same observe 0 1 2 6 4 b also 1 2 6 4 and here also 1 2 6 4 clear right so with respect to immutability whenever an object is required in python Py pvm is not going to create the object directly first it is going to check whether object is already available or not okay if it is available it is going to reuse the existing object if the object is not available then only it is going to create the new object with the new reference id in this case it might be the different uh, address id will be the 101 okay it is the id okay clear right
one point is see the theory what i have explained with respect to practical the same thing the theory observe here all fundamental data types are immutable so anyway we know we know right all fundamental data types are immutable once we create an object we cannot perform any changes in that object if you are trying to change any changes with those changes a new object will be created this non changeable behavior is called immutability okay if you are trying to change anything in the existing object with those changes a new object will be created and this non changeable behavior is nothing but an immutability okay see here the main point in python if a new object is required then pm won't to create object immediately first it will check if is there any object available in the with the required content or not if it is available then existing object will be reused if it is not available then new object will be created the advantage of this approach is memory utilization and performance will be improved okay so the main advantage of this concept is memory utilization and performance will be improved okay clear is right because a equals to 10 is there b uh, b equals to 10 is there so now both are point into the same object so in that way memory utilization also will be less so in python anyway everything is an object so suppose a equals to suppose assume immutability concept is not there okay assume immutability concept is not there assume my scenario a equals to 10 means suppose it if it is taken 10 gb okay if you are taking a b equal to 10 means that also it will take 10 gb so total 20 gb okay total 20 gb for this creation of two variables suppose assume that server has only 50 gb limit so in that way if you create five variables so for five variables creation only the memory is going to be get completed and the server is going to get crash so this is the scenario if the immutability concept is not there okay immutability concept is there that's why memory utilization and performance will be improved okay but the problem in this approach several reference pointing to the same object by using one reference if you are allowed to change the content in the existing object then remaining references will be affected okay if the immutability concept is not there two objects are pointing to the same object suppose 10 objects are pointing to the same object if you are trying to change one object reference then remaining object will be affected if immutability concept is not there so to prevent this concept immutability concept is required okay according to this once you create an object we are not allowed to change anything in the content if you are trying to change with those changes a new object will be created okay if you observe here anyway i am taking a equal to 10 b equal to 10 and d equal to 10 observe a 10 b 10 d 10 okay so now in our case both a b d are pointing to the same object that means a a this b and d both are pointing to this object only okay suppose now i am changing a equals to a equals to 50 so now when i am changing a equal to 50 that time a equal to 50 means 50 is anyway in this not there okay when it is not there that time it is going to create the new object okay with the, the value of 50 okay with the value of 50 so now a is pointing to which object this object okay now a is pointing to this object okay a is pointing to this object and this is nowhere eligible okay now if you ask here i am asking a value 50 b 10 and d 10 okay this is the reason if the immutability concept is not there several references pointing to the same object by using one reference if we allow to change the content in the existing object then remaining references will be affected 
okay so we observed right so in the same variable i have changed the value of a so remaining references won't affected okay this is the reason immutability concept is required for us okay clear right so in this query in this concept if you are having any doubts please post your question or query in the comment section or reach out to my email id i will give reply okay please subscribe to my channel if you are watching for the first time and if you are watching for the first time please uh, start from the watch starting onward so i will give the description in the uh, link in the description okay please subscribe to my channel for the first time if you are watching thank you thank you all.